In this mini lecture series, I want to go over some essential concepts and tools of data manipulation and visualization in Excel, and show how we can gain insights and knowledge from a data set with such data manipulation and visualization. I choose a data set in real estate because it's relative small in size and also because its data elements have clear meaning to most of us. However, these concepts and tools we are about to cover apply to any kind of data sets. Before we get started, make sure you have gone over the video lectures on shortcuts of selecting data. Let's take a look at the data set first. Let us select the data range for the first column. Excel automatically produces average count and sum for the selected data and show them in this uh, bottom right corner. So by count, we know then there are 363 rows. And since the first row is the header, then we know there are 362 remaining rows, each, re each representing one house. Also, by selecting the first row, we can read again from this area that there are 20 columns, each representing one aspect of a house. So if we scan across the header, we can understand pretty much the meaning of every column, except maybe this one. EIK, which stands for Eating Kitchen. Another thing to notice for, for the data set is some columns are numeric, such as the value and lock size, and others are categor categorical, such as garage and location and style. Their values can be understood as some descriptive labels. We'll explore data manipulation and visualization with Excel by exploring this data set and try to answer the following three sets of questions. Set one, among different style of houses, which one has the highest average value? What percentage of houses is in this style? How many houses of this style have two car garage and fireplace? What is the average taxes among those houses? Set two, among different houses styles, which one seems to be the most recent style? Among the different house styles, which one seems to enjoy the longest popularity? Set three, are taxes calculated differently by location? Do houses with higher value pay higher taxes? I will encourage you to first explore the data set by yourself with these questions in mind before continue to our lectures. But here are some highlights of this lecture that I will cover. Number one, the essence of using pivot table for data analysis is similar to cutting a multi-layer K into pieces. The meaning of different statistics and bar charts. The effect of sorting and line charts. The usage of scatter plot and filter to reveal interaction of multiple factors. Now let's get to the body of the lecture.